Bubba's back. Bubba Watson is one of the best American professional golfers out there. There's no doubt about his skill. With 12 PGA Tour wins under his belt and two green jackets, this remarkable left-handed golfer has enjoyed great success ever since he turned pro in 2001. But there's still so much you don't know about Bubba Watson. For example, do you know that he plans to become the mayor of Pensacola? And that's why many of his investments are in that city in Florida? Well, stick around to find out more, including his current net worth and fabulous lifestyle. Welcome to Golf Links. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get notifications on new video drops. Let's start this exciting story. Unlike many other golfers like Jordan Spieth and Tiger Woods, Bubba Watson never had any professional golf instruction. Instead, his journey towards success started with a little gift from his father, a nine iron, and all the encouragement he needed to become one of the best self-taught golfers in the world. Born in Florida in November 1978, Bubba Watson is not his real name. <laughs> Shocking, right? Well, this golfer's name is Jerry Lester Watson Jr. So how did he earn the nickname Bubba? His father believed that his son had a striking resemblance with an NFL player known as Bubba Smith. So he preferred to call the young golfer Bubba, and the nickname stuck. Meanwhile, at just six years old, Bubba Watson already understood the basics of golf from his father's teaching, and would spend hours every day by himself to become as perfect as possible. Undoubtedly, Bubba was a promising young golfer, and his father's encouragement was more than enough to get him actively into the game. Throughout his high school days at Milton High School, Bubba played for the Milton Panthers and in college at Faulkner State Community College. Later, he moved onto the University of Georgia and quickly joined the Bulldogs as a top-tier amateur. He played a massive role in the team's clinching of the Southeastern Conference Championship title in 2000. Finally, he was ready to launch his professional golfing career in 2001 when he joined the nationwide tour. Bubba remained on tour until 2005 and climbed to number 21 on the tour's money list. It didn't take very long for this American golfer to stir up conversations about his talents, and within a short time, he earned his place on the PGA Tour later that year. Just a year later, in 2006, Bubba was named Rookie of the Year on the PGA Tour after amassing more than a million dollars in winnings. However, it took four years to clinch a tour win. That first ever win at a PGA Tour event was at the Travelers Championship in 2010, where he couldn't help breaking into tears on the golf course in Cromwell. It was an emotional moment as his father was battling throat cancer, and Bubba dedicated the win to the man that was his major source of motivation. After that win, there was nowhere else to go but up for the young champion. The following year, Bubba earned the second and third wins of his golfing career when he won the Farmers Insurance Open in Zurich Classic. After starting 2012 on a good note with three top five finishes, Bubba won his first major at the 2012 Masters Tournament. Thanks to this win, he rocketed up to number four in the official World Golf Ranking, his career high at that point. Unfortunately, the rest of the season wasn't so good for him, as he missed the cut for the Memorial Tournament and the US Open. So, was 2013 better for this American golfer? Well, not really, but we can't say the same for 2014. This was the year he won his second Masters Tournament and then another PGA Tour victory at the Northern Trust Open. Credit for a lot of his wins goes to his incredible shots and long drives. Over the years, Bubba has won several tournaments, but his antics off the golf course are just as interesting as when he has a golf club in his hands. It's not surprising that the golfer has millions of dollars to show for his successes, especially with the huge endorsement deals and career earnings. It's only the second quarter of 2022, and Bubba Watson's estimated net worth is about $40 million. Now that's a lot. So far, he's earned a little over $48 million from PGA Tour wins alone, and then another $5 million from fabulous endorsement deals from top brands like uh, EA Sports, Oakley, eBay, Richard Milley, and Mercedes-Benz. He also has a multi-year endorsement deal with the CBD company and a lifetime contract with Ping. With the golfer sitting pretty on the number 15 spot in the career money leader list, you'll be curious about what he's doing with all that money. The superstar Bubba is in love with cars, and he doesn't hide the fact either. Within 12 years, the pro golfer has bought 37 vehicles and admitted to this in various interviews. Obviously, no small investment, especially as his car collection includes the famous General Lee, a 1969 Dodge Charger that also doubles as a television star. It's a unique 
neat car driven by Bo and Luke on the Dukes of Hazard, and as his car collection increased, it became a habit to buy new ones and sell the older ones. A good example is the 1939 Cadillac LaSalle Seahawk Roadster that the golfer sold for $410,000 and then donated to a charity organization known as Birdies for the Brave. His collection also included an SLK Mercedes-Benz, a custom hover golf cart, the 2014 Corvette Stingray Z51 Coupe, and a 2012 off-road Jeep. You'll be shocked to know that Bubba has a bulletproof car. I mean, not that he actually needs one, but when you have the money to flaunt it, why not, right? He had the 2013 Ford F15 SVT Raptor custom built with badass interiors and high-performance off-road tires. Cars are not the only bad boys that Bubba loves to collect. Watches are also on that list. And we're not talking about just any type, but one of the most expensive ones you can find in the luxury market, Richard Milley. Bubba Watson has been an ambassador for the Swiss luxury watchmaker for about a decade. This partnership, which was signed, sealed, and delivered in 2011, couldn't have been a better choice, as Bubba's powerful swing matches the ruggedness of this stylish watch. So far, this golfer has four signature watches, which include the RM38, RM3801, RM55, and the latest, Tourbillon RM38 II. The RM38 II, which comes in a pink and white quartz case, is a tribute to Bubba's iconic hot pink driver and is worth a mouth-watering $980,000. Imagine wearing the worth of a mansion on your wrist. This golfer's love for luxury and fashionable items is matched by his passion for giving out to charity as much as possible. Over the years, Bubba has donated a considerable chunk of his winnings to charity, while also running the Bubba Watson Foundation. Do you know Know that this amazing golfer is part of a boy band group that features Hunter Mahan, Ben Crane, and Ricky Fowler. The group known as Golf Boys, his actual songs released and proceeds from their shows go to charity as well. One of their best songs is titled Oh Oh Oh, and you can check it out to decide for yourself if he's just as good with the microphone as he is with the golf club. Meanwhile, Bubba Watson is super high on investments. He has major plans for his future, and the city of Pensacola in Florida features heavily in them. The prolific golfer dreams of eventually emerging as the city's mayor, and his focus will be on education. This is one of the major reasons why he moved back to the city with his wife, Angela, and two children, Caleb and Dakota. The golfer doesn't hide the fact that he has been investing heavily in local businesses around his home. One of them was becoming a part owner of the Pensacola Blue Wahoos, a baseball league team, and opened up Bubba Sweet spot, a candy shop for serving premium ice cream and candy. However, Bubba didn't stop there. A few years ago, he invested in the Milton Chevrolet and a robotics company that creates toys and military equipment. Then, he decided that he might as well spend some money on a driving range, especially as he is one of the longest drivers on the golfing scene. This range, known as the Pensacola Golf Center, is one more step in Bubba Watson's quest to become a fantastic mayor. Although he moved to the area in 2015, he was the proud owner of Tiger Woods' mansion just two years earlier. Yes, the same one where the legendary golfer crashed his car into a fire hydrant, and it snowballed into countless stories on infidelity and a career that went down the drain. Interestingly, he didn't inherit any of the bad luck that some fans associated with the home, as he had one of the best years of his career in 2014. However, after splurging $2.2 million on the mansion in Isleworth in Florida, he eventually sold it in 2015 for $4.6 million. It's 2022, and Bubba Watson, the fantastic golfer, businessman, investor, and maybe future mayor, still has a lot he can accomplish. Do you think he has what it takes to win one more Masters before retirement?